Hello, and welcome back, so let's play Final Fantasy IX. I'm Sir Kupo Nut, and in the last episode, we began pilfering the streets of Alexandria and finding lots of random items. So, let's carry on doing that. Getting close to the town centre now. Wow, how'd you get your ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamp there before you can enter the castle. Okay, what's this? Doug's item shop. Actually, we could use some items. I know I just said earlier that <laughs> we we don't really need to buy many items, but at the start of the game, I, I always like to buy more. More money on the floor. These people in Alexandria have got to stop this. There's too much stuff on the floor. Right, items. Potions, Phoenix Downs. Phoenix Downs for 5 people, potions of course heal HP, antidotes of course do poison. I always like to get 5 of each of these. And eye drops. Um, cure blindness. If you press select in this game, I think I really liked about it. It's a little move that will appear and give you information. And I thought that was a nice addition. Okay, so we got everything from your shop. Let's carry on into the town square. Nobles looking at flowers. Yeah, everything looks pretty here. I'm trying to find items. There's some statues here. The three heroic knights of Pluto. This statue was built to commemorate the three knights who fought bravely in the 15th Limbo War. 15th? Jesus, how many are there in 1601? <laughs> these na these um, nations, the Limbo and Alexandria, obviously are not very good friends. Married for 30 years, worked on re runs up and finally afford a ticket to the show. I'm so happy. Wow. <laughs> These tickets must be pretty expensive if you've only just managed to afford a ticket. You'll close soon, so surely you can serve me now. This is stupid. There's a hidden item here that most people miss. No remedy. I keep telling my son we'll go out business, but he never comes home. To buy, I wish I had a lot more money. We all wish we had more money. Oops, I mean to do that. Unfortunately, no one has any money. Except for me, because I'm stealing everyone else's. Oh, I've never seen this before. Recruiting new Knights of Pluto members. We are always looking for recruits to the Knights of Pluto in Alexandria Castle. Come all, you brave young men. Let's protect the Queen and our beautiful country together. Captain Knights of Pluto. I have never seen that before. Someone I didn't know. Oh well. Wow, I've hidden my three precious cards in a safe place. Well, I'm sure we'll find them, since we are thieves. Phoenix Pinion. Phoenix Pinions like Phoenix Downs, except for they have a secondary use later on in the game. They also sell for load, but... I don't know, I usually sell them, but you... Some people say you shouldn't. I don't know really, great. Let's go in here. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see, really, quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it. Jeez. Yikes. City people are so scary. Sorry, no vacancies today. You're not much of an inn, then, are you? Pardon me, sir, out of the way, please. You're a hippo, so what is this? A hippo married to... A hippo married to a fish man? I believe they, that was his name. What the hell? Pull it back, you know. No extra items in this place. Looks like a picture of the Queen there. Right, no extra items in this place, that's the thing. Was there any items in here? No. Oh, this is the... Let me just check if there's any items here. No. This is the uh, jump rope minigame that I was talking about. Now... I know I said that you shouldn't do it, but basically all you got to do is press X and just do this. Later on in the game, you can replay this minigame whenever you like, well not really whenever you like, but you you have access to it on the final disc of the game, disc 4. Now, I know I said that you shouldn't, I'm not going to bother doing this, but, ouch, <laughs> failed already. Uh, one thing that I will be doing is getting 100 jumps, because if you get 100 jumps, not only do you get a finger card or something, you get a... Uh, you get a letter in the castle later that you wouldn't get otherwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out and I'll be right back.
Yay, I finally did it. <sighs> that took forever. I only got a Genji card for it, so... Thank God that's over. Come play with us again. And no, I never, ever will. So for that, we get a rare... Well, not really, it's rare at this point. It's an amazing card for this point. And look at that. It's got... Uh, how many arrows? One, two, five arrows. It's not five, it's six. God, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'll, anyway, I shouldn't really be going into that because I'll explain the card game a lot later. Now, one thing you can do is you can give the card in now, but what I suggest you do is that you... Uh, <coughs> God, not give the card in, give the ticket in. What I suggest you do is you don't give the ticket in and you just go down this alleyway. Because if you give the ticker in... Uh, <coughs> God, I can't. If you give the ticket in, it moves the plot on, and we don't really want to do that while there's still things to do in Alexandria. Skipping champions, there we go. First 104, thank god for that. Anyway, right, if you go in this building, here, there, um, you can get a hidden item. Now, sometimes there'll be that girl that we met when we dropped our ticket in here. Uh, to to get her to move away, what you have to do is run to the south side of this um, map and then she'll eventually run out the door. And once she runs out the door, then you can come in here and she would have moved. So we get some more items, steal from this girl's house. This is obviously Ilya's house. I don't need to sneak in by boat, I have a ticket. A newfangled mispowered ship fell through the air, but two ships are supposed to flow in water, right, Shunny? Yeah. Right. My kitten mittens ran away. Now, this is a side quest. Tell me if you see him, okay? And we will be um, doing this side quest. But first, the cat can wait. Let's go into the steeple. Now, in here, there is quite a few. Well, I think there's two items, maybe three. Ten. Tents are always worthwhile. Tents are, they fully heal your HP and MP outside of battle, but you can only use them at a save point or if you're on the world map. There are, there are no cottages in this game like there was in the original 1 to 6, I think. There were better versions of tents. Tents literally fully heal you. Tents also have an interesting effect in battle, but we'll go into that a lot later. Ringing the steeple bell. Uh, Received Hippo's treasure. That was the cards he was talking about. The Ironite card, a Goblin card, and a Fang card. You get loads of cards. Which is good because the card game's difficult. Okay, so we've got everything in the steeple. Now let's go find Kitten Mittens. Now, literally, to find Kitten Mittens, all you have to do. I think there might be a hidden item up here. No. All we have to do is go back to the start of. Uh, Alexandria, back where that statue of General Madeline was. So I'll quickly run back over there. Most people don't know about that side quest. I've never seen anyone do it. There's the cat, see? I've never seen anyone do it in an LP. It's not really worth doing, to be honest. It's only, you only, the reward's not that good. But I'll do it all the same. Move. Kid's getting in my way. Run them over, that's what I say. There's the cat. When you click on him, Oh, you found him. Well, you could have found him. Seriously, you've just found him. I didn't need to do that. Come here, thanks. It's just stupid. And he runs off and he doesn't even give us a reward. But don't worry, we'll get our reward later. Right, so let's carry on. Now, we've got pretty much everything in the actual town part of the game, so let's go back to the main square and give in our ticket at the ticket booth. Can I help you, son? Show ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No! Poor Vivi. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? Cards? We don't want cards. We want to go into the thing. We want to go in to see the show. Talk to either way, Jack, to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. I think there's a dialogue I forgot to do here. I forgot to ask about 
a thingy, but I'm not sure if I can do that now. Ah, yeah, what's shown today? This year's performance is the masterpiece. I want to be your canary, the Tantalus um, group's performing. What kind of troops, Tantalus? Their star performance from Nimblum and the region to the west, with accompanied by Lav Ladeus. What's I want to be a canary about? This play is a tale of romance between a noble and a peasant. You really must see it. Well, I can't see it, you idiot. My ticket's fake. Tell me about Alexandria. The Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Bran. Who's Queen Bran? Do you know? Queen Bran has a beautiful daughter, Princess Garnet. Tell me about Queen Bran. Fortunately, I've heard strange things about Queen Bran recently. Who's Princess Garnet? Today is Princess Garnet's 16th birthday, you know, sweet 16. Tell me about Princess Garnet. Her Highness is a beautiful princess, and everyone in Alexandria loves her. Is Princess Garnet really that pretty? Why is she the most beautiful princess in the history of Alexandria? Okay. Thanks for that. Let's have a look at this ticket. A very expensive looking ticket. Come see the all-time classic love story, I Want to Be Your Crow. A tragic tale of destiny, cursed memories, dreams, life and death. So, I want to be your crow. Surely, Vivi, you would have realised that it's misspelled I want to be your crow, not I want to be your canary. How stupid of him. And he fell flat on his face again. Blast it. Hey, you made me miss, you little cuts. Phew, that should do it. Dante the sign maker, isn't that a bit, you know, <laughs> foreboding? Well, it's been a long day. There's that rat kid that ran into us earlier. Hey you, shrimp, you're the one who's with the phony ticket, ain't ya? Yeah, it's fake. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Alright, that sounds like a great plan! Awesome, now for your first assignment. You go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Yep, it's clear. If you say no, then he just gets angry at you. Awesome, engage according to mission parameters. You haven't told me what the mission is yet, so why are you saying that out loud? Seriously. If that guy over there is the alleyway jack, and if you if he catches you, he'll mug you. If you talk to him, he'll take you to a place and do a card tutorial, but I'm just going to do that myself, since it'll be much easier. Anyway, into the steeple, but not quite yet, because we want to go up here and get our reward for saving the cat. Thanks, here, this is for you. A bomb card. Now we're going to climb up this tower. It's very dangerous, so you go first. Well, thanks a lot. Ow. Ah, what the heck was that? Sorry about that, Kupo. That's Kupo, he's a Moogle. Kupo. And this is slave number one. Try to get along, okay? Kupo, pleased to meet you. I'm sorry, I enter you a Moogle diary. If you want to save game onto memory card, just ask us Moogles, Kupo. And you can regain health if you have a tank, Kupo. I understand. Glad I can help, Kupo. Alright, time for some upward mobility. Sorry, I'm, I'm speaking quite quickly because I'm approaching the time limit. Might have to cut something out. Okay, come on up, save. I want to get to the save point. Koopo, are you here? Koopo, still skimming. Why that get up? You leaving, Koopo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo. Now, don't you worry, I'll write. Okay, Koopo. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosha in the castle for me. Now, these are Moogles. They are the cutest things ever. I love them. And they're very important to the quest. Was that a friend of yours? Yes, very. Yes, Koopo. A very special one, Koopo. Hey, Slayer, before I ordered you up here. Okay, so if you talk to him, you can make a record. You can do a thing called Mogner, which is a mail system. Koopo, I'll tell you about Mogner. Mogner is a mail uh, delivery system between Moogles. You can, we can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations, Koopo. But the delivery has been very sporadic lately. So I want you to help us deliver mail, Koopo. Yes, I will. I have to ask. I want you to deliver a letter to Monty. Thanks, Koopo. Okay, I'm going to save the game here, so... And we'll carry on next time. Thanks for watching, and rate, comment, subscribe, and next time we'll follow up, go up this ladder, and follow the rat kid, and try and get in to see the play. So, thanks for watching.